Hi, it's Russell here from The Presenter. I hope you're well. Thank you for tuning in to this short Prezi tutorial. This is all about how to create non-linear presentations in Prezi and it's a very quick snippet taken from one of our recent Prezi webinars. So I'm going to talk to you about how to build a non-linear Prezi and first of all I need to point out that there are of course three design steps you should go through to build the perfect presentation. Plan your Prezi, use mind mapping, storyboarding, script writing. Get your visual content in place first, make sure it's all nice and consistent and you can do that by sourcing imagery online. You can design these yourself or you can hire a Prezi expert to do this for you. And the third and final step is to build your Prezi. So this is the only time that you actually open the Prezi software and do anything inside Prezi itself. And this is the area that I want to focus in on because this is where we need to build our non-linear Prezi presentation. So for those of you who don't know what a non-linear Prezi is, it's basically a way of you being able to present from any point in your presentation. So being able to start your presentation from any area that you or your audience chooses to. And it's very, very easy to set up inside Prezi. So on the screen right now are a few examples of layout. And layout is absolutely crucial to getting this right. So I just wanna show you a few examples that we have used here with presentations in the past. This is what we call the globe layout. And of course you can add your own imagery behind all of this. I'm just giving you a, a kind of skeleton view of the nonlinear layout. So this enables you to start your presentation from this point, ask your audience what it is they would like to focus in on, and then either use your mouse to go straight to that section, or if you're presenting on a tablet or a smartphone, to just double click that section on the screen, double tap it, and then go straight in there and come back out. So you come back out to this big picture and then from here you can focus in on any of the other sections. It's a great way to present and there's lots and lots of flexibility around the layout. You can have your own company HQ for instance and zoom in on one of the windows to talk about sales or support or finance or whatever it may be. You can take that layout one step further and introduce an entire skyline of buildings and zoom into any of those windows. You can also zoom into hidden bits of content as well, maybe a car on the street or a person outside the building. It's entirely up to you. There's no limit to where you can take people. Another layout that I really like to use is the molecule layout. So this enables us to branch off from our central subject into as many subsections as we want to. So we can zoom in on content, go down even further to subcontent, and then back out to our big picture. And exactly the same thing with a simple tree layout. So we can zoom in onto content here and then come all the way back out. Now at the moment I'm only showing you these layouts to give you an idea of how they work. In a second I'm actually going to show you a real example. But the key thing here is that you should know you are actually creating path points in a linear way, but you're actually telling Prezi to start from a specific point. So you might have five path points, you might have 500 path points, but you can actually ask your audience what would you like to focus in on first and then tell Prezi this is where I want to go. So I'm going to show you that now in a real example. I'm actually going to go into edit mode and go to another presentation that I have here that already has a lot of content inside it and a lot of layers uh, of frames and path points. So I'm just going to remove those and start from the beginning. So we have all of our content. What we also have as well is a really nice 3D background. 
Okay, so I can move around and you can see that those clouds look like they're moving separately to the rest of the content. Now I'm not going to go into detail on how to do that here. I'll save that for another tutorial. What I do have though, what I do have to uh, to start with is an invisible frame around the outside of my content. So this is going to be my starting point and I'm just going to click the edit path button and manually click on that invisible frame. There we go, so that we have path point one. Now, of course, if you're starting from the beginning with this, you'll know that as soon as you add a frame, you will automatically get a path point. And we'll see that now, because I'm going to zoom down even further into the content that we have here. I'm gonna rotate my screen around, and I'm going to now add an invisible frame over the top of this building. I'll probably rotate it around a little just to line up perfectly. There we go, so there's now path point two. And if I zoom in even further, I can actually add path points to each of these windows by simply dragging frames over the top of the content again. There we go, and there's another frame over the top of this window like so. And I can take this a step further as well by even zooming in on the post-it notes that we have on the screen here, or on the uh, notice board, I should say. There we go. So what I want to do to finish this up for this particular section is come all the way back out to my big picture. And again, I'm just going to click on the edit path button down in the bottom left hand corner and manually click on that frame that surrounds everything. So you can see now down the left hand side of my screen, path point one is a view of my entire presentation. Then we drill down into one particular building, but then we come all the way back out to see the entire content again. And what this means, if I go into present mode, is that I can now present in a non-linear way. Obviously, I would have taken time to do that same process for every single one of these buildings. I'm not gonna do that in this tutorial because of course that could take a good 20 minutes or so for me to do. So I'm gonna now use this in a non-linear way. I can literally click on the school and zoom straight there. I can click on this window to zoom straight there. I can click on this scrap piece of paper to zoom straight there. And at any point I can use the right arrow to go all the way back out. And I can use the mouse if I want to freestyle around even more. I can use my mouse to come back out like so. So Prezi makes it very, very easy for you to navigate around your presentation in a non-linear way. You just need to make sure that you have the right layout in place and that you know exactly where all of your content is. But as I said a second ago, going through those three design steps, planning, getting your content right, then building your Prezi, will really enable you to do this. This is not an advanced feature of Prezi. If you have the basics of Prezi under your belt, then this is something that you are definitely very capable of doing. So that's all I have time for today. If you want any other help or advice on how to use Prezi, or maybe you're looking for a Prezi designer, you can go to our website at thepresenter.com. That's presenter with a Z. You can also talk to me right now on Twitter by using at the presenter, um, and also hashtag Prezi webinar if you have a subject that you would like us to create a webinar around or feel free to email us on info at thepresenter.com. I hope you found it useful. I'm Russell from The Presenter, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Mm -hmm.